Hey everyone, so before we jump into today's video, I just want to let you know that my brand new digital watercolor booklet is out now in my Etsy shop. In this digital workbook, I go through step-by-step -step instruction on how to draw each flower and how to paint them using watercolor to look more detailed and realistic. I also include a tracing template for each flower, as well as a supply guide, tips on watercolor blending techniques, and color theory. I'm really proud of this workbook and I really hope you guys enjoy it. So if you're interested in picking up your own digital copy, head to the description below and click on the link to my Etsy shop. Now let's jump right into the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are gonna be painting some watercolor herbs. So let's do it. So to start, I'm just going to go through my materials. I have my Arches watercolor paper. I cut it in a size 8x10, just in case this is something I wanted to frame in my kitchen later. I have my Winsor Newton professional watercolors in my palette. My Princeton snap brushes in a size 6 and a size 2 round, and we're ready to go. Okay, so today we are painting different types of herbs. And this could be a fun little thing that you could frame in your kitchen or whatever. So let's jump right in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start mixing different types of greens just so I have a different variety. I have two greens that I usually use here. I have some sap green, which I'll just lay down right there. I have some hooker's green dark. And then what I usually do is mix some hooker's green dark with some dioxazine purple and it makes this really nice deep deep green okay and then I might add some yellow to some of my green later to make some lighter greens okay okay so I think right now I'm going to start with mint and I'm just going to grab a little bit of brown here I just have a bunch of different browns mixed in there and I'm going to start with the stem so I'm going to have a stem coming up like this wash a little bit of that off just thicken it up a little bit and then I'm going to grab my darker green mix here and I'm going to start off with some little leaves at the top like this and then they're going to get gradually bigger so I have my green and then I'm just going to take some of that um, color off like that I have a bigger leaf there and the mint has jagged edges so if you want to just take your the tip of your brush and just do some little jagged edges you can do that like so making another little leaf there I might go back in and just tap some darker color to where they meet I'm going to do another one here. Maybe it's folded. Don't worry too much about making it like crazy realistic or anything. Just having fun. It's just a little watercolor doodle. Like that. Maybe this one's a bit more open. Get that jagged edge going. I said we were doing mint, right? <laughs> Sometimes I can't remember if I've said something. And I'm just leaving little bits of white space in there too, just for highlights. Again, just change up the, the shapes and the sizes. Add some darker bits in there, lighter bits, whatever you think looks good. Okay, directions of the leaves. Maybe there's three coming off this section here. I'm just jagging up those edges, which will really make it look like mint. Okay, then I'm gonna go back in with a bit more darker green and dioxazine purple. And just again, tapping some of those parts just to add a bit more shadow and then I'm going to take a bit more of my brown and I'm just going to go up that stem again and some of that brown can bleed into the leaves like that. And there you go. There's your mint. Super easy <laughs> and cute. Okay. 
Now we are going to do some uh, time. <laughs> I'm, I'm just guessing as I'm going. And now these are smaller leaves. So I'm gonna use my size two brush for this. I'm gonna start with my brown. And I'm gonna do maybe like two sprigs of thyme here. So I'm just gonna start with really thin stem. Maybe they can overlap at the bottom like that. Then I'm gonna take my sap green here, just change up the greens a bit. And then I'm just gonna do these little leaves Okay, they have tiny little leaves and don't think too much about the placement of them. They're kind of all over the place. They're shorter, they're not too long and they, they're a bit longer at the top than they are at the bottom. Okay, I'm just taking off some of the pigment on my brush and just adding water. And then I'm gonna add some. Again, just changing up that, um, the contrast. So some are lighter, some are darker, and then they get more sparse as they get closer to the base of the stem. Okay, so longer at the top. I might even add a bit of brown to my green. Taking off some of that pigment, making it lighter. And we get sparser as we get down to the bottom, like that. And then I'm gonna go back in with my brown and again, do the same kind of thing where I just go over the stem and it can bleed a little bit into those, those thyme leaves. And it's really th that easy. Might go back in with a bit more darker pigment, darker green, tap it in there too. Like that, and there you go, there's your thyme. Super easy. Okay, now we are going to do some parsley. <laughs> Just deciding as I go, like I said. Let's do some parsley. Okay, so I'm going to grab my green here. More sap green, I think. And these leaves or these stems are green. So I'm going to start off with one stem coming up here. We're gonna go this way this time, like that with the tip of my brush, very light pressure. And then it's gonna branch off here. And then maybe a couple little branches coming off that way, okay? And parsley is very like jagged, these edges. So you're just gonna use the tip of your brush and kind of make these jagged looking leaves. Okay. Like that. And again, we want to change up the contrast. Here, make this one longer. Change up the contrast of the, the leaves. So go back in with some darker green. You know, hit some of those areas, maybe closer to the stem. Let's do some lighter ones over here. Really not thinking too much about that shape, just have fun with it. Just laying it down. We're making these kind of loose herbs, herbs. Such a weird word, herbs, 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 right? Herbs. <laughs> Sometimes I, I wonder why you guys watch me because I am just ridiculous. Okay, grabbing some darker green, putting it in there like so. I feel like I might add another sprig of thyme here just because it looks a little uneven. Grab a bit more of that bright green, dab that in there too. Maybe do a little leaf down here. Like it's about to grow. I feel like that stem is a bit too, there we go. It was a bit too thick for my liking. All right, and there you go, there's your parsley. We're just gonna go back here and do one more sprig of thyme. Like that, okay, there, now it's a bit more centered. 
think I might go back in a bit more with some darker green here just to liven it up a little bit. Just tap it in like so. Okay, there you go. There is your parsley, your thyme, and your mint. Now we are going to do rosemary. I love rosemary. I think it's probably my favorite of all of them. It tastes so good. Um, okay, so first grab your brown. I just have a bit of burnt umber here. That's what I usually use, and I had a bit of a mix down here anyway. So rosemary. We're going to start with our stem. Okay, coming up here like that. We'll have another one coming up like this, maybe another one like this, okay? Let's grab a little bit of yellow and add it to our green. We're gonna make it a little bit lighter, some of these. And you're just gonna do longer, straight sprigs coming off of this stem, like this. Okay, and again, we're changing up the value. Some lighter, some darker. You can do some darker greens, some lighter greens. Have them coming in different directions. You know, maybe they're going every which way. Have some coming off this one. And I like to make sure it's still wet so I can go back in and add that darker color. Add a bit more yellow. Keep going all the way to the bottom of each stem. This is making me a little bit hungry. I'm gonna... <laughs> there we go. And then a little bit, maybe one coming down here like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in with some darker green again. Tap some where they kind of all meet in the center. Like that. Let it bleed into some of those little sprigs. Gonna grab some of my brown again. Gonna go throughout the stem, just in some places, not all of the stem. Just to get a little bit of brown in there, like that. Maybe a little bit more yellow to my green. Just pop some of that in there. I think I want a bit more darker green too. Just tapping it and make sure it's still wet. All those little bits are still wet and that's what's gonna make it bleed and like that. And there's your rosemary, super cute. Okay, now the next one we are going to do is basil. Love me some basil too. Okay, now these leaves are a bit more luscious. Um, I'll start with a green stem. Um, I'm gonna start like this and then I'm gonna leave some spaces on the stem because we're gonna have some of the bigger leaves. Actually, hold on, I don't want that there. Some of the bigger leaves kind of overlapping the stem and I'm gonna grab my size six brush and we're gonna use this lighter green. And I'm gonna start by doing some bigger, they're chunkier leaves, okay? You leave a little bit of white space in there if you like. And we're just gonna place these leaves all around like that. Might go behind some other leaves. We could add some darkness to some of them after two. Do some smaller ones at the top. Like this. So some are gonna be behind each other. And you know what, once it fully dries, we're gonna do a little bit of shading to make it look a bit more realistic, even though these are kind of um, more loose versions. Um, we might just do an extra little something to the basil. We'll, we'll see. Like that. And then maybe, oops, like this. A little stem at the bottom. Like that, okay. Now I'm gonna go back in with some of my darker green. 
And I'm just gonna tap it just to get that initial kind of shading. And then once it's dry, like I said, we'll go back in and do a bit more. Okay, so we're just laying down that first color or that first, you can even do like little um, lines like I'm doing down the middle of some of those. And then we'll add that detail after. Okay, so there we go, there's our basil. And then last but not least, I say we do some dill. Nope, sage, sage, that's what I wanted to do. I like sage and I love the color of sage. So I'm just gonna move some of this lighter green over there. And we're gonna do the same kind of color that we did for the mint. So I'm just grabbing some hooker's green dark, a bit of dioxazine purple. And the difference with this one is we're just gonna water it down so it's a very, very light um, color of this. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the stem. Actually, we can do the stem, the lighter green, okay? Like this. And then it's gonna branch off like this into different little branches. Then you're gonna grab this color and these are longer leaves. So you're just gonna hold your pressure down a bit longer, drag it out like this. Okay. Do it again. They're longer and they're not as pointed at the top. They're a little bit rounded at the top. Okay, so not too pointy. Like that. Like that. Maybe I'll have one coming from down here. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back in. Actually, let's have one coming behind the other. And we can add some more detail to that one too after. I'm gonna go back in with our darker color, just darkening it up a bit more. Okay, wash it off a bit and then just tap the bottoms of the each leaf with that color. You can even go around some of the sides if you want and just let it bleed. Make sure it's still wet. Like that, and then we can add some detail once it's completely dry. We'll do another little one right here. There we go. Okay, so let's wait for this to completely dry and then we will go back into these these two and just do a little bit more detail. Okay, so now that it's dry, we can go back in and do a bit of detail. Um, I think I might do a little bit of detail to the mint too. I'm just gonna grab my size two brush and a dark wash and just do some little veins in some of these leaves. using the tip of your brush, very light pressure. Just do some veins. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to. Like so. And it just adds a little bit of extra detail to that mint, a little bit more texture. Now for the basil. What I'm going to do is some of these leaves are behind others. So I'm going to pick the ones that are behind. I'm going to grab my lighter green and see like this one's behind, this one is behind that one. So I'm going to go along where it's behind it with this darker color, wash off my brush, dry it, and then I'm going to blend it out like that. Okay. So this leaf is a little bit darker. Okay. Now, same with this one. This is slightly behind that one. Wash off my brush, dry it, just blend it out like that. So it's a bit darker. Might go over some of the stem a bit.
that. Now this one is behind. Wash off, blend it out. Okay, don't worry, it doesn't have to be too like detailed. Just doing a little bit of extra just to make some of these leaves pop a bit more. Blending it out. Like that. Go over the stem maybe a bit more. I'm just gonna darken up this one a bit. Just adding a little bit of shadow to some of the bases of these. Blending it out. Okay, so it just kind of just sharpens it up just a little bit. Okay, and then wait for that one to dry again, and then we will do um, the veins on it. And then I'm just gonna do the same kind of thing with this sage, just this one, this one uh, leaf right here is behind that first one. So I just wanna make this one a bit darker like that. Okay. And it just kind of separates them. Oops. Like that. Okay, and then again, wait for it to completely dry. Okay, now that it's dry, I'm just gonna grab my small brush again. And we're gonna go back in and add some of those um, veins to the basil. So I'm gonna go right from the tip of the basil it's going to go right to the edges like that okay on each leaf And you can see this just really details it up a bit, makes it look a lot more like basil. There we go. Just make sure that those veins are moving with the shape of the, the each leaf, okay? Make sure they curve with it. All right, there you go. So there's your basil. And if you want to, again, add a bit more shadow to some of the bases of them, you can definitely do that. Wash off your brush, blend it out a bit. There you go, there's your basil. And then for the sage, what I think I might do is take a light wash of the sage color and just go up one side of the sage, like this. Just up one side, like that. I don't know why, just, just do it. <laughs> there are your different herbs. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you guys liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook for even more. Have a great day, guys. Bye.